I just said, brothers and sisters, I'm almost getting to the end. Like I said, it's a lot of it's a lot to cover, but I want to make sure I thoroughly cover all the information so uh, y'all can research it for yourselves. That's why I'm giving y'all all the references to what I'm teaching. So um, where I left off at is after talking about the slave ships in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Here is like the modern day. It's like the beginning of the journey to the Apocrypha in Deuteronomy 20 verse starting at verse 24 but I, I do want to read um, one more scripture like I said passage at the Bible about Esau and what happened with Esau as far as with the Israelites on what they did to the Israelites how they are going to get punished for it and indeed it says in Genesis chapter 15 verse 3 that the nation they shall serve as slaves I shall also judge them as well so he's saying they won't be the exempt from my judgment now and I'm going to read in Ezekiel 35 and also the book of Obadiah that whole page talks about the judgment of Esau but uh, Ezekiel chapter 35 a whole lot shorter so I'm going uh, to briefly browse through that but let me uh, get to the last part in Deuteronomy here and uh, before I go and cover all the information I want to cover out the Bible and last but not least to the Apocrypha and uh, reveal scripture out of there that's linking to the Bible so getting to it uh, Deuteronomy chapter 29 verse 24 he said, Even all the nations shall say, Wherefore hath the land done this unto this land? And this land that he done this unto was the land of Africa, formerly known as Cush, and Egypt. What mean of this? What mean of the heat of this great anger? Now, remember that heat right there. What mean of the heat of this great anger? Going back to Isaiah chapter 18 about the prophecy against Cush or against Africa. Uh, Isaiah 18 verse 4. This is what the Lord says to me. I will remain quiet and will look on for my dwelling place like a shimmering heat and the sunshine like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest. Heat. So that heat is his anger against the Israelites in Africa they tried to escape from Africa but couldn't so that's why he pointed them out in Africa it's a go swift messengers to a people tall and smooth skin to a people feared far and wide an aggressive nation of strange speech whose land is divided by rivers he was pointing them out in Africa the Israelites in verse 2 and once again pointing them out 7 verse 7 in Isaiah 18 and 7 he was pouring specifically the Israel, Israel, uh, Israelites out in Africa getting tongue tied he was pouring them out specifically go to these people right here these are my people and I sold the punishment of course like a shimmering heat so I thought I'd kind of give you reference to that in Isaiah 18 about the Israelites in Africa and he pouring them out in specific go to these people right here so continue where I left off verse 25 Deuteronomy 29 dear men shall say because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt who did he bring forth out of the land of Egypt the Israelites what men shall say because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord God of their fathers which he made with them when he brought them forth out of the land of Egypt who are these men saying that that the reason Israelite the Israel has been punished and went through slavery and been beaten and uh, oppression is because of their disobedience to the laws and the commandments of our heavenly father the most high what men are saying that Let's see, you got the gathering of Christ, you got the HY 12 tribes of Israel, you got um, this whole lot of other brothers, I can't think of them right off, but those are two, I'm naming off the back. The gathering of, the gathering of Christ, HY 12 tribes of Israel, me, 
you know, teaching about this, seldomly on and off, mostly covering prophecy, modern pro uh, day prophecy of what's happening on the news and revealing you the prophecy of the events that's happening on the news, but include me teaching and several others. This teaching the truth of why Israel is in a condition that they in today. Why was the land of Africa how it became desolate? See, so those are the men that see. I'm gonna have to cover a little bit more now, but those are the men that um, are saying it. The ones who are teaching the gospel, the ones who are teaching the truth, the witnesses of God, the witnesses of Heavenly Father, or Jesus Christ. Go ye and preach unto all the nations, and indeed by people on YouTube and out in the streets and passing out flash trying to get the actual precise and accurate truth out I indeed obeying that command that he told his disciples to do but moving on verse 26 for they went and served other gods and worshipped them gods whom they knew not and whom had not given unto them and whom he had not given unto them meaning the father of the most high and of course, Jesus, Jesus or Yahweh Himself. Not Yeshua. Yeshua is Joshua, but we ain't gonna have that debate. Twenty-seven. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against His land to bring upon it all the curses that are written in His book. Now, all the curses that are written in His book fell upon what land? Africa, because Africa, the richest continent in the world where all the natural resources lie. What people dwelled in the land of Africa? What people? The Israelites dwelled in the land of Africa. The Egyptians, Egypt a part of Africa, you see all this gold and all this natural resources and riches. So these people, but did it say anything in Isaiah 19 verse 15 about Esau being his people. Let's see. The Lord Almighty will bless them, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people. No Esau. Assyria, my handiwork. No Esau. And Israel, my inheritance. No Esau. Hmm. Interesting. But moving along. Okay. 28 and the Lord rooted them out of the land in anger and wrath and in great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day 29 the last verse in this on my cover in the chapter of Deuteronomy the secret things belong unto the Lord our God but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law now I want to go back to one particular verse in this chapter 29 it said, the Lord rooted them out of their land in anger and in wrath, listen closely, and in great indignation, and cast them into another land as it, it is this day. This is prophecy right here. This is prophecy after the punishment of the Israelites. He said he cast them into another land as it is this day, meaning this very day, this Christmas day, tomorrow, the day after that, etc. As it is right now, this is what it's saying in the scripture, as it is right now, the Israelites are in another land. This land, that strange land that they was going to get led to, that they was going to experience 400 years of affliction. 400 years of oppression or 40 years of oppression and 360 some years of slavery so this day now want to go to let me see make sure our Ezekiel chapter 35 I want to cover everything in this segment because it's relevant that everything is covered Time running out again, but y'all know what to do. Stay tuned for the rest. I say I'm almost to where I really want to be. And that's reading the last final things out the Apocrypha about the children of Israel in America.